Hi friends welcome back to my other After Effects tutorial. Today we are going to create this. Before begin, don't forget to subscribe my channel below. And give this tutorial a big thumbs up. First of all we need some source files to create this title. Here you can also download this source files folder link in the description below. Unzip this zipped file, then go to this extracted folder. Here select this Saho font file, right click and install. This font is automatically installed in our PC font folder. Perfect. Let's jump into After Effects. Open After Effects and create a new composition. And press OK. Now choose Type Tool and type the title like this. Cool. Now change the font as Saho font which we already installed in our PC. Decrease this font size to 130. Align this font to center. Let's change this font color to white. And press OK. Perfect. Now add some gray texture to this font. Go to project panel, double click and select this texture image and press import. Just drag and drop it as bottom layer in timeline. Scale down little bit. Now select this texture layer and choose alpha matte in track matte options. Cool. Now create a extrusion effect to this text. Select this text and hit Ctrl D to duplicate the same text. Now unhide this top layer. Just drag this text to bottom. Move this text to left and bottom by using arrow keys in our keyboard. Perfect. Let's duplicate this layer and drag it to bottom. Move this text to left and bottom by using arrow keys in our keyboard. Let's continue the same process to remaining layers. Now select all these bottom extrusion layers by holding shift key. Right click and choose pre-compose. Rename this pre-comp to shadow. Select move all attributes into the new composition and press OK. Cool. I need some more depth to this extrusion. So go to effect. Generate. And select gradient ramp effect. Let's adjust these gradient start and end points like this. Now change endpoint color as gray color. And press OK. Now we need one black solid layer. Right click on timeline new and select solid. Here change the color to black. And rename this as overlay shadow. And press OK. Perfect. Hide this layer and select rectangle tool. Here we create some masks for shadow effect. We create these masks between these words like this. Now unhide the solid layer. Hide the mask path. Hit T for opacity. And decrease the opacity value to 72. Here I need some feather. So press M twice for mask options. And select all these masks by holding shift button. Here increase the mask feather value to 43. Perfect. Decrease the opacity value to 64 for best view. Now we need some bevel edges. So duplicate the text layer by hit Ctrl D and drag it to top. Unhide it by hit I icon. Cool. Now search for bevel alpha effect. And drag it on this top layer. 
Select this layer and change this text color to black. And press OK. Increase the edge thickness value to 3, and light intensity value to 0.6. Here change light angle to 65 degrees. Perfect. Let's change its blending mode normal to screen mode. Cool. We have a nice bevel edges. Now we need some beautiful overlay light animation on this title. So duplicate this layer by hit Ctrl D. And change edge thickness value to 4. Light intensity value to 1 in bevel alpha options. Right click and pre-compose this layer. Rename this pre as edge light. Select move all attributes into the new composition. And press OK. Change this pre to screen mode in blending modes. Cool. Now create a mask. Select the pen tool and create mask like this. Select the layer and hit M for mask path options. Move this current time indicator to starting point. And hit on mask path stopwatch for animation keyframes. Now go to ending point and move this mask like this. Let's see this pre player looking like this. Cool. Hide this mask path. And hit M twice for mask options. Now increase the mask feather value to 17. Perfect. Now we need some glowness. So go to effects and presets and search for glow effect. Select and drag it on this layer. Here let's see some glowness added. Cool. Now the time to adjust some color correction. So right click on timeline. New. And adjustment layer. Here search for curves effect. Select and drag it on this adjustment layer. Let's adjust this curves like this. Now we need to animate this title. Select all these layers. Right click and hit pre-compose. And press OK. Here set this layer to 3D by hit on this box. Now right click, new, and select camera. Change the camera preset custom to 35mm. And press OK. Now animate this camera position. Hit P for position options. Move this current time indicator to ending point. Hit on position stopwatch for keyframe. Now bring this current time indicator to starting point. And change the position value to minus 1600. Let's select these two keyframes by holding shift button and press F9 for easy ease option. Now the time to apply background music. So go to source folder and drag this mp3 file to timeline. You can also download this mp3 file from the link in the description below. Perfect. Now the time for preview and final result. Thank you and need your support.